3D printed parts are weak. You know what would make this stronger? Carbon fiber. Because carbon fiber, it makes everything stronger. You know, from boats, to planes, to deep sea submersibles. Now, I know what you're thinking. Carbon fiber filament already exists. And you're kind of right. But what you can buy right now is basically just a bunch of carbon fiber short strands that are trapped in a plastic matrix. What I want to make is more like this. I want to make a plastic matrix that has long carbon fibers running axially along its length. More like this. This will give it more strength. Now, there is a machine that does this made by Mark Forged, and it's pretty cool, but it has two problems. First, the carbon filament is separate, and it costs $150 a roll. And second, this machine costs $15,900, which is just crazy. So instead, I'm making my filament out of trash. So in Onshape, I designed this little razor holder, which turns PET bottles into long ribbons of PET plastic. So after it was done printing, I assembled the razor into the bottle cutter with super glue, and then put the rest of it together with some more super glue, kind of like this. After it was all assembled, I cut a little strip manually out, out of the bottle, then stuck it through the first few inches of the bottle cutter. Then, by pulling it through the razor, it created this long strip of PET plastic. It's a little hard at first, but you get the hang of it pretty quickly. To try and turn this strip into filament, I took this modified hot glue gun and first removed the tip, and then fed the PET through it. Then I put the tip back on, screwed it back down, and waited for it to heat up. Once it was heated up, I manually pulled the plastic through the nozzle and was left with this. It's not great, but it gave me enough confidence to try with carbon fiber. So what I have here is a carbon fiber toe next to a piece of PET plastic in the nozzle. Now, as I start pulling it through, I'm twisting to try and seal it off better, but as you can see, it's not working very well at all. There are some points where it almost works, but then the carbon fiber pops out again, and I get left with this. It's pretty ugly, but you can see there's some places where it kind of worked, so this gave me a little bit of hope. Maybe too much. You see, the next time I tried it, this happened. I tried pulling, and the same twisting, but instead, nothing really happened. Now, what happened here was a carbon fiber jam had formed in the nozzle, and nothing was coming out. But even after clearing that, it still wasn't pulling very well. And this also turned out to be kind of a disaster. Once again, there are a couple of inches in this pull that look alright, but for the most part, it's pretty sad. To give you an idea of what's going on on the inside of this nozzle, let me open it up. So, that's not great. It's kind of tangled, and it's a big mess, and that's probably why it's not working that well. I tried again, but still had the same problems, so I decided to take a different approach. This time, I tried gluing the carbon directly into a channel I'd folded in the plastic, to see if it might tangle less in the nozzle. And the answer to that is a clear, resounding no. Instead of staying in the channel, the glue is somehow causing the carbon to bunch up inside the plastic and kind of spill out in these random areas, which really isn't great, and I feel like I'm back at square one again. As you can see, this looks worse than my first few attempts, which was pretty demoralizing, but I kept trying. After burning myself on a hot nozzle, I tried again, but to mostly the same results. Once again, the carbon fiber was bunching up inside the plastic, and not producing a very good result, although this one was slightly better. You can see towards the end of this, it's just bunched up and this is never going to work as a filament, but there are some good places like over here, but then it gets bad again. So after failing so many times, I decided to take a different approach. So here, I've switched out the hot glue gun, and instead of using super glue, I've used tacky glue, which is much more forgiving and will melt more easily I think. And Finally, I had something that started to work. As you can see, the filament pulled through much more smoothly, and I was left with something that, although still quite crude, 
sort of looked like a printer filament that might eventually work. You can see it's definitely not perfect, but compared to a lot of my past attempts, this is a huge leap forward. But I still have a problem, and that is my filament is too big, so I need to make a smaller nozzle. But this nozzle was a total failure. The filament just wouldn't pull through it, so instead I switched back to a different hot glue gun, but instead I just extracted its guts. Now this time, I'm making the filament in two stages. First, I'm pulling it through a larger diameter nozzle, which creates this kind of C channel, which I can then put the carbon fiber into. Whoops. So as you can see, that process created a kind of C-shaped cross-section, and into that, I can slowly and carefully thread this carbon fiber, working my way all the way down so that the carbon is fully seated in this new channel that I've created. Then, I pulled my filament through this smaller diameter nozzle. And it worked beautifully. I mean, look at this. It's almost perfect. You can see that the filament inside is straight and not tangled, and it's a consistent diameter. Under the microscope, you can see this even better. The filament is clean, it's smooth, and you can see the carbon fiber is centered along the filament. As I move further down the filament, you can see the carbon fiber just poking out here, and you can kind of get a scale for this filament. Zooming into 50 times now, you can really see how small each carbon fiber strand is, and you can also see just how well it's seated in the filament. So I'm pretty happy with this result. Because the filament needs to exit the nozzle at the same speed as it's entering, I drilled out a hole in the nozzle to make it 1.75 millimeters, and then I started printing, and then I started failing. These first few attempts were just with plain PET filament without any carbon fibers in them, and as you can see, it's just not printing very well. But as I dialed in the settings, the print slowly got better and better until you can see what I'm trying to print, this little test dog bone. Now the printing with carbon fiber, and this was just a huge disaster. Every time I printed it, it would either clog up or no carbon fiber would come out of the nozzle at all. It seemed like dialing in the settings was really doing nothing. But after trying and trying and trying again, the prints eventually started getting a little bit better. At first, I was just happy if something printed, no matter what. But soon, things started looking more and more like the test dog bone that I wanted. And finally, I got this to print. It kind of looks like a turd, but this was the best that I was able to get. And honestly, I was pretty ecstatic when I saw this come off the printer. Just the fact that the fibers were somewhat integrated with the plastic was a minor miracle to me, so I was celebrating a lot at this point. It had taken me around 30 prints to get to this point, and most of these are failures. But among that failure, there were a couple of successes. At first, the prints I was getting were horrible, but slowly and steadily, the quality increased and increased, and while it still wasn't very good, it was starting to look like something. And finally, towards the end, I was left with a couple of prints that I was almost happy with. Even though they look really terrible, they still have carbon fiber integrated into the plastic, and that's what I was trying to get. I'm sure that to most people, these still look pretty terrible, but personally, I'm kind of proud of them. Zooming in on this last one even closer, we can see how the plastic has integrated with the carbon fiber. Now, it's obviously not perfect. In some places, the carbon fiber is sticking out, but in others, the plastic has kind of formed a matrix with the carbon fiber, which is what a carbon fiber composite is. So once again, I'm pretty happy with this result. There's definitely a lot of room for improvement and a lot of optimizations that could be made in this process, but I've demonstrated that the process is possible. As far as I'm aware, this is the first time that anything like this has been done, so I'm pretty stoked with the results. If you do know of anyone who's done this before, please let me know, because I'd love to learn more about what they did. Alright, so that kind of worked. Um, now in the future, I want to automate this process a little bit more, uh, so kind of working on a machine that can make this filament uh, without just having to have me pulling plastic through a hot glue gun. Um, but besides that, I think I also want to work a little bit on 
um, making the print settings a little more optimized so that it can print a little more reliably. Um, so stay tuned for that in the future. Um, but until then, see ya.